This video was made in response to the challenge set by the Film Prompt Society. Day X of the lockdown, and you've done just about everything imaginable to fill your time. Stir crazy don't got nothing on you. It certainly doesn't help that the only contact you've had during this time has been over the internet, or, if you're lucky, your housemates. You're getting desperate for more social interaction, and sometimes your friends and housemates need a little bit of alone time. So what can you do? Well, play some more Animal Crossing, of course. But again, after seeing the same villagers day in and day out, you need a little bit of variety. And sure, you can go about evicting some villagers and sending others to move in, but eventually, you run out of new villagers. So, we do the next best thing. We build some new friends. I stumbled across a blog article discussing generative adversarial networks, and how to generate pictures of cats using AIs. Generative adversarial networks, or GANs, are made of two parts, the generator and the discriminator. The generator generates data with the goal of tricking the discriminator into believing that the generated data is the real deal. The discriminator evaluates the generated data, trying to figure out which data is real and which is generated. The two of them compete and improve over time with the idea being the generator will eventually produce something very close to the real data after X amount of competitions. This can be used to generate anything from sentences, to music, to images, which is where our interest lies. Naturally, I knew exactly what I was going to do with this newfound knowledge, introducing my Animal Crossing Villager Generator. Patent pending. To train our GAN, I downloaded an image of every Animal Crossing villager, edited all these images to fit in 128 by 128 square, and then I fed these into the GAN. Here began the slow process of training our GAN. We set it to run for about a thousand epochs, or a thousand iterations of the generator and discriminator trying to catch each other out. The only issue here is that this takes, at least on my PC, uh, days. So be right back. Oh, okay. Now we have an issue here. If we look at some of the images generated, they all look kind of like a villager and also kind of like Hellspawn. The generator gets pretty close to creating something resembling a villager friend, but then struggles with the fine details. The issue we have here is that there's so much variation in the shape of each villager and the details on their faces, it's hard to create a general image of one. And whilst I love all these eldritch horrors generated, I don't think we can get away with calling them villagers, and I think we can get something a little clearer. I created a very basic image processor, used to test the similarity of the villager images. This processor highlights the villages that are vaguely similar to one another. This makes it actually possible for our generator to figure out what it should be creating, without having everything too similar that it just draws an image of the bastard cat Raymond. And what do you know, this method yielded some positive results. So, without further ado, here's a time lapse of our GAN slowly figuring stuff out. And there we have it, our new villager friends. Aren't they magnificent? Now we can produce an infinite amount of new Animal Crossing friends, and, with the knowledge from my previous video, we're actually able to talk to them. Finally, riding out the rest of this lockdown is going to be a simple task of printing out new friends, and annoying the shit out of them. So, uh, that last video did pretty well as it turns out. I just wanted to leave a little thank you at the end of this video because holy shit you guys have been supportive. I'd also like to do a couple of shout outs if that's okay. One to Sharu M, who has used the Animalese Translator program that I made to create a cover of Kanye West's Wolves, which is honestly really fucking good. The other shout out goes to Matt Attack, who I couldn't actually find the social media accounts for, but is using the speech program I created to make a Tom Nook Discord chatbot, which again I thought was really fucking cool. If you want to check out the code that I used for this video, I've linked the article where I found it all and learned everything in the description, so please do check that out. This video was made as a response to the prompt set out by the Film Prompt Society, a channel that does monthly prompts to get your video making creative juices flowing, so do give them a check out. Again, links in the description. I noticed some comments in the last video asking if there were ways of supporting me, and there is. I've linked my coffee account and other social media links in the description if you want to donate. Please don't feel any pressure to, it's just if you want to. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to see more garbage like this. That's pretty much it. Again, Thanks a ton, and I'll see you next time.